everybody today. Do I have a story for you? I'm going to start a series and it's going to be called the Crazy Fucking Viner Series. Probably just the Crazy Viner Series because when I say Crazy Fucking Viners, it makes them maybe sound like they're having sex. And I really don't even want to picture these people in that situation, so let's just call it the Crazy Viner Series. And today we're going to talk about the cripple and before people start on me about how in the world can you call somebody a cripple how could you refer to someone as a cripple people he calls himself that on vine okay let's just get that straight i would never label someone that way but that's what he calls himself and i have to say it's quiet right now but they are working on the bridge outside for my trolls and it was pissing me off how dare they interrupt my youtube time i got really pissed off about the noise but then i thought what about the trolls? They need some place to live. And I wrote a song about that. It goes like this. What about the trolls? They need some place to live. Thank you. So, you know, if they make noise out there, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Life happens, could be worse. Motherfucker. <laughs> So as I said earlier, he calls himself the cripple. So I did not put that nickname on him. That's what he calls himself. He is in a wheelchair. I first came upon the cripple when his friend, and I put friend in quotes because I don't know how a friend would do this to you, even if you were to say, hey, I really want you to do this to me. One day I saw this hashtag going and I don't remember what the hashtag was. And I'm sorry if I laugh, but it was something about body slam the cripple or put a cripple through a table. <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy named Jeremy, he's on Vine. He calls himself the God Monster. He's a fucking idiot. He has the IQ of half of a cherry tomato, if that. And all he does is just like vape. That's all he does, except for like when he gets really drunk and then he does what he calls his emo vines. His emo vines are when like he just plays like death metal over and over again and then he just like vines himself with like a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. But Jeremy and the cripple had this hashtag going that they were going, that Jeremy was going to body slam the cripple like through a table or something. And I'm just looking at this like, why would you do that? One day they actually went through with it and Jeremy did like two or three vines where he body slammed the shit out of the cripple and like put him through a table. Like no shit. I don't even know. <laughs> Why would you do that? He literally picked him up and like slammed him through the table and then he's like, you okay? I mean, fuck no, I'm not okay. You just fucking trying to kill me. But then you hear the cripple and he just kind of whimpers. He's like, yeah. So let me get myself together so I can tell y'all this story because that's not even the story I'm getting ready to tell. It gets a whole lot better than that. Now when the cripple first started vining, he was pretty normal. I mean, he would talk about how he ended up in his wheelchair and how, what it was like to live that way and you know how Vine was helping him because you know he felt like he was part of a community. But as time went on I kept noticing that like he would go on these crazy rants. It seemed like every day he was pissed off about something which I get that because I've been known to rant on Vine and get upset about stuff but this was just like completely over the top. He started doing these Vines and he would hashtag them with Bulldog Pussy Swag. I don't know what Bulldog Pussy Swag is, and I don't want to know, I don't ever want to know what that is. My friend Panda actually met him once. He met the Cripple, he met Maya in the moment, and he met the White Trash Network. And they all went out to eat somewhere, and Panda said they were all sitting there like trying to have a conversation, and the Cripple just kept saying, Bulldog Pussy Swag! Bulldog Pussy Swag! Bulldog Pussy Swag! And he was trying to get everybody else to yell, Bulldog Pussy Swag, and they're all just sitting there like... I don't want to know what that means, but it was a hashtag that he was constantly putting up and there were other people like participating in it. And I think I was afraid to actually go look and see what Bulldog Pussy Swag was. I got on Vine one day and I noticed that there was a hashtag going and it was Find the Cripple. Supposedly the Cripple was missing and no one had heard from him for days. He wasn't answering texts, he wasn't responding to anything, he wasn't online anywhere that anyone could see. Of course when I saw that someone was missing, I got concerned. Holy shit. 
this person is missing. Let me go see what's going on. So I went to his Vine account and it just so happened that on his Vine account he had some revines of somebody that was doing like a Dexter sort of theme on their Vines. If you don't know what Dexter is, Dexter was a show on Showtime and it was about a serial killer. It just so happened that he had Vines on his page that made it look like a serial killer had come after him. So immediately I was like, oh okay, he's missing. Me and Panda, we were both just like, you know, here we go with some bullshit on Vine again. But we didn't say anything because, you know, there's always that chance that this person really is missing. We didn't want to, like, say anything until we knew for sure that it was bullshit, which we knew it was bullshit. The day went on and everybody was still talking about how this person was missing. And I'm like, well, has anybody called his parents to find out if he has not been heard from? I mean, just because he's not responding to his friends on social media does not mean he's missing. So, I know that Panda called the police in the town where the cripple lives. He said that when he called them and said the cripple's real name, that the police were just like, yes, we've been told that he's missing. And I don't mean to make that sound like as shitty as it sounds, but his own parents had not called. The only people who were calling the police department were people that knew him from Vine. Cripple kept up with this little facade until actually the police did put out a notice. It went out on the news and it was also on Facebook on different news pages. This man from such and such area is missing. He's in a wheelchair. Last seen on such and such a date. Last heard from on such and such a date. And then all of the sudden, boom, the cripple shows back up. Just magically. Those of us who have common sense know that that's because he was like, oh, shit just got real. Like, the police are seriously looking for me. It's on the news. He just magically showed up. Like, boom. Here, oh, I'm back. Sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to scare everybody. You know, this dude is like wasting resources, police resources, news resources, and he's just looking for attention. So when Cripple shows back up, it's like me and Panda start having a field day. We're just making vines, just laughing. I had a big spider that was living on my porch, and every night I'd go out there and it would build a web, and then in the morning the whole web would be gone and the spider would be gone. <laughs> and for some reason, it just I was just like, oh, instead of finding the Cripple, I'm going to start a hashtag, find the spider. Guys, my spider's missing if you've seen him. Please call this number on the screen. We don't care who has him or why you took him. Just bring him back. He was such a good spotter. And that infuriated people. And I'm just like, do you all not see the humor in this whole situation? Because let me tell you what Cripple said when he came back. Now, I might get some of this wrong, but... Basically, in a nutshell, this is what he said when he came back. He lives in Kansas City, and he said that he had gone on some road trip with friends, and he had driven to, where did he say he went? Kansas City to California and Vegas. Back to Utah, through Colorado, back to Kansas City. Then he had to go back to Colorado, and then he came back to Kansas City. Just think about the logistics of where he's talking about that he went. And according to his story, when he went on this road trip, he ran out of money. And he also didn't take a phone charger with him. He says that he ran out of money and he had to go live at like a homeless shelter for a while. And then when he was in the homeless shelter, somebody told him about a place that you could go that would pay you to sit outside and hold a sign. So then he says he went to this place and he sat outside and he held the sign and then he got paid. But once he got paid, he needed cigarettes and he needed gas money. So he went to a 7-Eleven and it just so happened when he was in the 7-Eleven, somebody said to him, hey, aren't you that guy that's missing? And he said he turned around and looked at the TV and there was this picture and then boom, he was able to let everyone know that he was okay. There's so many holes in this story. Are you going to tell me that you got in the car to go to Colorado, Kansas and when you went to Colorado, Kansas, you didn't take a phone charger? And are you telling me that when you determined that you were out of money and you needed to live in a homeless shelter, you didn't say to those people, hey, do you think it would be okay if I charged my phone while I was here? Or do you think it would be okay if I use your phone to call my parents to let everybody know that I'm okay? And just so happened that the last vines on your page made it look like a serial killer was after you. Hmm. So of course I made lots of vines making fun of it because that's what I do. It was hilarious. Don't get mad that I'm using the material to entertain myself. So then there's this dude on Vine. His name is Jeff. My name is Jeff! 
all of a sudden Jeff is so mad he's making vines and he's like I'm the one who filed the police report looking for the cripples so if anybody wants to start any shit they need to come to me and I'm just like sitting here thinking what did that phone call go like? 911 what's your emergency? Yeah my friend from the internet He's not answering any of my messages. Sir, is this someone that you know personally? He's missing from the internet. <laughs> His own parents didn't report him missing. Come on! I can't make this shit up. Cripple really hasn't been that active on Vine since then. Maybe he learned his lesson about looking for attention in the wrong ways. I don't know. I don't care. I just told this story because it's hilarious. I'm going to be doing more crazy Viner videos because I have a shitload of stories to share with you all. I appreciate everybody watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I do videos every week, sometimes more than once a week, and I'm not really sure what day yet because I'm still trying to feel that out. I'm having so much fun on YouTube. It is so much better than Vine. Vine sucks ass, and I'm happy to be here. I will see you all soon. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye! Here we see a depiction of the spider's time travel. Really, that's the only way to explain this is time travel.